Imagine being on the operating room table as a neurosurgeon removes a life-threatening tumor from your brain, all while you are awake and even holding a conversation. Yep, that's perfect. Sounds a bit anxiety producing, but doctors say the procedure known as awake craniotomy is valuable. It's a surgery that allows us the maximal balance for being as aggressive as possible to give you the best uh, kind of longest quality of life. Washington University neurosurgeons perform the surgery on about 10 patients a year at Barnes Jewish Hospital. It allows them to remove or destroy troublesome tissue in the brain while preserving functional brain areas. There are times when people have uh, tumors that are involved in certain parts of the brain that are close to either uh, the areas of the brain involved with speech function or motor function specifically. Areas that are critical to how we interact and communicate with the world. In order to identify those areas, doctors first map the brain using imaging technology, including some developed at Washington University. They find where those key areas are located in the brain. When the patient comes into the operating room, he is mildly sedated and his body positioned for best blood flow. The patient's head is placed in a specialized clamp. Once uh, we've gotten them in position, their head is fixated. Uh, then we uh, do some very careful what are called nerve blocks, so that all the nerves going to the scalp and to the head are uh, anesthetized. Unlike a traditional open craniotomy where the patient is asleep the entire procedure, in the awake procedure, the patient is brought out of sedation to consciousness. Because the brain has no pain receptors, the patient can't feel the surgeon cutting or moving his brain tissue. I think the other part of the awake craniotomy that really gives us a, you know, a strength in terms of you know, safety and efficacy is that we're having an ongoing conversation with the patient uh, during the, the removal of the tumor. So we're not only just finding those areas, we're monitoring their, monitoring their function continuously. Luthart says if the team notices a change in speech or movement during the day-long surgery, it can be a sign they are close to a vital brain area. Okay, hang in there, buddy. Patients for this surgery must be carefully selected. Those with airway obstructions or issues such as claustrophobia or severe anxiety may not qualify. Obviously, it's a, it's a big surgery, and it really requires patient participation. So there's several features about it that are really unique. But those who are able to participate often see benefits both in the short and long term. A weight craniotomy can reduce operating and recovery times, and being able to take out more of the tumor means that patients often live longer and have better quality of life.